Men are the biggest perpetrators. Uh, underage kids or women, you know, women, a lot of times the John gets off with just a slap on the wrist and they take the, the minor to jail, which is so unreal. Well, Terry Crews has joined the fight against human trafficking in a recent red carpet appearance. He was sharing all about how he's lending his platform and who he is to fight human trafficking. We're going to play that clip right now. Ending human trafficking, any organization that's all about that, that is what I'm all about. So, but it's happening right here in Los Angeles, right here in the United States. But it's time that men stand up and say, hey, we need to put a stop to this. Men are the biggest perpetrators. Um, underage kids or women, you know, women, a lot of times the John gets off with just a slap on the wrist and they take the, the, the minor to jail, which is so unreal. We, men, we gotta stand up. We can't just bl look the other way. And as a real man speaks up for the weak, they speak up for people who can't speak for themselves. And that's the, that's the essence of being a strong man or woman. This is so powerful because Terry Crews has been sharing vulnerably about his own journey publicly for a while now. He's one of the most famous entertainers of our generation, came out of NFL with the Chargers, went straight into acting and in movies and television hosting and all these things. He's also an artist, for those of you who don't know, and shares that a lot on social media. But he shared not too long ago about his porn addiction that almost cost him his marriage. And he's now fighting and sharing for other men to be free and his own sexual harassment that happened against him by an entertainment industry executive, by another man. Uh, I mean, it's crazy. It, it's all the stuff that he's willing to share for the sake of people getting free and having a right connectedness to themselves, their marriage, and God. I want to share a clip that was not too long ago from TBN. Telling her, telling her about my addiction, telling her about the times I fell, telling her about all, and she, I never, I remember hearing this audible gasp and it was the most painful thing I ever Jesus. heard in my life because it's real now. Yeah. And the, mm -hmm. literally she said, You're, I'm done with you. Go, you, you can't come home. It's a wrap, it's over. I called Pastor Jim. <laughs> Terry called me, he for real was broken. Because mm. I've talked to a lot of guys who got caught and their wives make them call me and I can just tell, but they're not really ready to change yet. Terry was basically, I'm a, I'm a liar, I'm a hypocrite. He went through it all. And I remember, the, I think one of the best things that God gave me to tell you at that time, I said, look, Terry, he said, I wish I could promise you that if you do the right thing, your marriage will survive. Eventually, Rebecca will take you back. So Terry, I can't promise you that. Mm -hmm. I said, if you're gonna change, you gotta change for you. Yeah. And if it still costs you your marriage, hope not but if it does cost you whatever you got to change for you when my husband sat me down and said because we had a marriage council we went to all the time um he was on our reality show so mm -hmm. i won't drop his name but he was on our show and he told terry you need to go to there are a couple places i can send you because this is addiction mm -hmm. and when my husband sat down and said i'm going i was shocked i was shocked because this was somebody who I knew protected his public image tremendously. And there was something about that decision that just made me know, oh my God, he is for real. Right. Mm. Oh, I love this. It just gives me chills because Terry, who protected his public image, put his public image in God's hands. And since he's spoken up about this, and obviously God restored his marriage, it was his wife, as he's spoken up about this, it's caused a huge change, not only in his family, but also in the industry people he works with. He's on America's Got Talent and uh, is the host there. He's on several TV shows, he's in movies. And people care about Terry Crews. People all around the world care about Terry Crews. And he's a, become a voice, both of his own pornography addiction, but then he was harassed by an entertainment executive. And when he was harassed, he came forward and shared this, both with the Screen Actors Guild and others, and said, this isn't okay, and I'm gonna share this very openly. And so I love the fact that he's been stood up against his own injustice in his own life. He's stood up against his own sin and immorality that he's fallen into, but now he's saying, I'm going to stand up also with the Equal Model New York Agency to end the fight against human trafficking. And this is especially sex trafficking. And we saw, you know, Terry in the sense of like being this vulnerable person with his wife and with the situation on TBN, sharing it from a faith 
perspective, how God changed his life. And now we've also seen him on the red carpet sharing about human trafficking, but he's lending his talent where his values are. And he, in a recent video, he actually narrated all about the demand and the ending of human trafficking. I'm going to watch just a minute of that so you can see how he's actually coming up with the content with Equal Model New York and following it through by being the narrator. And in sex trafficking. Imagine a sex trade is a big business. The suppliers and sellers in this market include pimps, brothel owners, escort agencies, and traffickers. The consumers in this market are the sex buyers who keep this multi-billion dollar enterprise churning. So who are these sex buyers? 99% of sex buyers are men. One of the most important parts about Terry Crews standing up for this is that there's been so much of a conversation from a female lead in the human trafficking space to be against sex trafficking and against child exploitations. But we've rarely seen an ex NFL star who is completely entertaining as if just a family household name who is saying, I'm going to lend my credibility to this and I'm going to show what true masculinity is and that men stand up for the rights of women and children. And it's really flipping that toxic masculinity upside down. I love that he's flipping the script and that men are going to be part of the solution to sexual ex exploitation. And in light of what happened with Tim Ballard and Jim Caviezel recently making the Sound of Freedom movie with their whole team and really introducing America and the average person, and now it'll be worldwide soon, the average person to the issue of sex trade with children. You have someone like Terry Crews. I think it's such a great God follow-up that he's sharing his voice and his platform. And if you want to find out more about the issue, you could, of course, visit equalitymodelnewyork.org to hear what they're doing to end the demand of sex trafficking. But Terry Crews was recently interviewed by Joel Olstein just a couple of weeks ago, and he was able to share a lot of these points about his marriage and how God restored it, about his pornography addiction, about being harassed, about, about joining the fight against human trafficking. But ultimately, he shared about how God brought him through all of it. He shared how his art was one of the confidence boosters, as well as his football, where people like coaches fought for his talents and how he had these amazing people who took him to places that his parents didn't even know how to get them and even sacrificing their own reputations for Terry himself. And I just think that it's so amazing that he gives all credit to God as he should, because God's done so much for him, but he has a lot at stake when there's so much religious intolerance in all these industries. And Terry's saying, you know what? God has healed me. God has restored me and God's given me the ability to fight against trafficking. And that my friends is an amazing testimony.